I'm Heather. I'm Gemma Charles. Uh, everyone calls me Spin. My name's James. I'm Emma. My name is Andrea Frasca Bolara. I'm Matt. I'm Sandra. Making Education City, that's, that's really good fun. It all starts with the objective really, I mean we, we go through the curriculum uh, depending on what region we're looking at, so uh, Scotland, England, Ireland, America, any, anywhere that we're deciding we're going to make a new piece of content for and then we use that as like the route for the main learning outcomes for it and then the entertainment factor is just kind of built around that isn't it? Yeah. The collaborative process starts at a really early stage between the producers and the educationalists. The next step is between the producers and the artists before all the material arrives to programme and make it functional together. And then we still have a process once it's finished that actually means we have to review it and then actually sort of put it on the product live when we're absolutely happy with it. So it involves a lot of people and a lot of programmers and it can take up to a month and a half sometimes from start to finish to actually get it all completed. We review the spec, the concept of the game that we came up with. Usually the artist brings all the creativity and contributes a lot in the storyline and then the programmer gives you advice on the flow of the activity and the interaction and how it could be more intuitive. Then the activity will go to peer review um, where all the producers check all the different aspects as well and then we have about three or four other testers <laughs> that come in and test our content before it uh, makes its way onto, it, onto the site. To be honest, I think it just comes from the environment around you. Storybooks, it's things from your childhood, things you see on television. Within Ed City, we've got a particular style of drawing. If you want to draw a car park or a house or a building, you know what they look like, you just have to make it look like the Ed City style. I'm Julianne Dean. I play the voice of Manu, and he sometimes stumbles on, on what he's saying, and I sort of created his voice with the picture in mind of him. So when I'm speaking like him, I often become him physically as well. The sense of satisfaction I get seeing a new piece of content from the beginning right through until it's ready to go live and seeing that live, that, you know, it's a great sense of achievement. We find Educational City so easy to use and it's so stimulating for the children. They're learning without realising it because they um, key into the cartoons and they find it so much fun. But at the same time they're, they're answering the questions so it's a real good asset for teaching and learning in school. Thank you.